Hi everybody, welcome back. I am so excited at the moment. Um, I'm working on a collaboration with Nate Bright and Anna Blunt and I've just done a spring-like um, ribbon pour, a, a sky and a meadow um, and it's just so pretty. Um, because the paints are really thin, I actually only poured out half of my, I had three cups layered up and I've only really poured out about half of each cup. So I've got about half a cup left of beautifully mixed paint um, for sky and for meadow, spring meadow. So I'm going to use the rest of them, but totally different idea. I'm going to make, um, do a triptych. So three quite small canvases. I'm going to try and do a triptych. So across three canvases, so the sky and the meadow, and hopefully I can get it that it will all line up. So really happy to use up my paints um, and to, but to do something totally different with them. So three little canvases, they are 20 by 25 centimetres, I think. I think that's what they are. Um, the cups that I've got layered up, I'm going to try and show you. So blues. In here, I've got some pale colours and they're all based on earth green, but there's some pinky violety colour mixed in and also some yellow. And then the same, but darker. I've still got some of the colours left. Um, I've got one of the little bit of one of the greens. Um, oh no, there's actually hardly anything in there. Um, this was the darkest green. There's still a little bit of that. It's mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, but mixed with PVA glue and water. Um, and then the original purpley colour was this, but I've just been adding extra white to, uh, to the other um, cups just to make them paler. And then the yellow was, let me show you, it's round here. This was the yellow. It's Naples Yellow Deep by Amsterdam. And again, I've got three versions of this. This one and then two with um, other, with more white in them so that they get paler. So what I would like to do is have a third of this as sky and then two thirds of this as a spring meadow with this paint. So I don't, no, if I've got enough, but it's very runny paint, so it's going to stretch a long way. So I'm hoping that will really help me. I've got, as I said, I've got a few other bits left over as well if I need it, but I'm hoping I'm going to have enough here. So I'm going to just pour the sky first of all. So I'm just trying to remember just a third. So two about there. So let's start with the horizon first. So ribbon pour, which just means lots of horizontal lines no I don't think I'm gonna have enough paint what I would do is probably just mix up some more of them I can feel the cup running out and if it was one canvas I think it would be okay but because it's three okay I've got actually got quite a bit of the blues left okay I'm just gonna pour out what I've got so this is the lighter cup And then the darker cup. Oh, big lump of something there. I think it's just unmixed paint because that was very, felt very soft then. Right, I've got some blues, so let's just use up the rest of my blues here. Right, I'm going to save a little bit because with the last painting I had to do a bit of extra at the top. Right, now let's see what I've got left that I can add to the bottom here. Let's go for the paler one first. Right, 
right that's much better i'm going to save a little bit just so i can blend them in a minute and then a darker cup so i'm just going to blend it so i'm going to do some light thinner quicker lines over the top just to blend the cups Right, and now I think that is plenty of paint. So I'm going to separate them and start tilting them from side to side. This is so cute. You've got such nice contrast. You've got the dark purple, you've got the greens, the yellows, and then you've got the blue. So although they're both, all three of them are the same, they're all very different with contrast in each. The bit I think I'm most happy with is the sky. Just look at that beautiful blend and it's blended so much more than the grass because I just poured it all, all on top of each other because I knew that it wouldn't muddy because the colours, if they mix together, they make just another blue. Massive clouds up there to start with, wasn't keen on that, but actually I think it adds a bit of character to it, to be honest, so I'm, I'm keeping it. The, um, the bottom area, I might add some flowers afterwards when it's dry. I might not, I might leave it exactly like this. I'm not sure. You've got much starker lines, um, but, but really, really happy with that. Really love this so pretty what a neat little triptych
This has been so much fun. I have loved doing this. I'm so happy with the pour, but then also so happy with the embellishment. Um, let me show you exactly what I did. So first of all, I used a piping bag. I put some of the modeling paste, mixed it with the different colors to make that really dark brown, used the piping bag just to pipe it on. Um, and obviously made all the branches. I wanted them to be raised. I wanted them to look like they were sticking out and that's really worked. So then I mixed up some pale sparkly pink to make the flowers. I've then dotted on some pale pink, different sizes, and then also some darker pink. And then I've put some of the deco art gold in the middle of each of the flowers and it just sparkles. It's so, it just lifts it. It's really, really bright. Um, and then I've also outlined the circles because I felt that, not the circles, the flowers, the flowers just got a bit lost um, and I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. So just using a really fine marker, I've just outlined them a little bit. I did it to start with with a pencil, but it just wasn't enough. Um, it did, wasn't dark enough. Um, love the pour, love the effects of it. I was worried it might all be a little bit too fussy, um, quite a fussy background for a fussy... Um, embellishment but I actually really think it works because the fussy bit of the tree up here whereas the fussy bit of the paw I think is the dark purple at the bottom so I am really happy really pleased with this um, yeah brilliant let me know what you think um, please let me know what you think of the tree of the technique I used um, any tips or hints you might have of how to do things differently that would be great and um, great please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it um, and please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.